So how long? Are you dating her before you have to see? Come on, man, come back. The so, job. So, come back to us, bro. Get, so get back to us. I'm in the mindset of what marriage, or I'm just having fun. Because if I'm having fun, I can date her for what? How long? You know, ended two well, years. I wouldn't even care. One year. I wouldn't care. Yeah, so you never date her for marriage. If I'm dating her for marriage, then I would want to know within like six months. Like, okay, I need to know what's going six on. Six months. Wow. Within six months, I, no, because if it's serious now, like I need to know how serious are these funds? Can we like six get out of here? Months? Can we do some shit and you're still good? Will you get fired if we do this? Like, you know what I mean? How does it work? Six months. <laughs> Tell me at least how it works. Yeah. Some shit. I think it's a red flag if if you're you're the person you're talking to. Can't dating. tell you how it works. It's not telling you about their job. <laughs> I think that's weird. <laughs> Off top, women like talking. <laughs> yeah, what if she's a Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You only have two things in this world. Mm. Your word and your mm. balls. And you break them for but no, no man. one, your man. Balls, <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, everybody good? Everybody right? Smoking, shit, smoking shit. in the air. Everybody uh-huh, cups is uh-huh. full. Yep. That's me, Grinder. All right, no doubt. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Woo! Episode... Uh, 32, baby. 32, episode 32. 32. Jack episode? I don't know. Bilingual magic episode. Magic. That's old Shaq. Shaq old 34 Shaq. in LA. Yeah, yeah, no. No magic? chips from that 32. OG Shaq. Yeah, OG Shaq. Uh, magic. Magic. Who else magic, is 32? Baby. Any 32s? Any famous 32s? Nah, I think that's That's wait. enough. That's good. There's got to be mad, got f- mad football niggas with 32. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. common number. Running back number. Yeah, <laughs> no <laughs> legends. I mean, uh, what's the Can't name? Can't think of uh, no 32s? O- Nobody OJ? got no 32s? OJ? Was OJ 32? No, he wasn't. He wasn't? He was? You sure? Was Orenthal a, James he was, he was, a killer was 32. Uh, no, uh, episode 32. Uh, thanks for coming back to the Blood Exchange. Don't forget yeah. to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification hey. bell. Hey. That's the best way to grow the cha- channel and get more of your Blood Exchange uh, videos. You dig? Yes, sir. Ow. Ow. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? To the left of me, uh. I have my guy from the sandbox, the one, the only, Crump. A.K.A. Crump Diddy. Uh. A.K.A. Dexter. Mm. Vibes. <laughs> Serial <laughs> killing. You know what I mean? A.K.A. Shooter McGavin. William H., the all-time great. A.K.A. Paper over Oops. people. Let's get it. How you Yo, doing, bro? Pete. How you doing, brother? I'm chilling, 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 you know. Had a, having a lovely week. Hell yeah. You know, okay, a couple okay. shoots, you know what I mean? Okay. Right. So that paper, the bag. That paper. Paper, paper over people, paper. baby. No, I, didn't, I, I was just making paper this week. I didn't have the opportunity to make it over people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. given the opportunity, you will. I would have definitely make up made for it. it I would have. Make up for it next Ooh, week. That's watch all I can out. Ask. Don't run into me next week. Because I'm going to get you. Because I'm going to get, get over on you. <laughs> I'm going to get, get you. Over you. <laughs> Stay scheming, Wolf. Jeez. Stay scheming, Wolf. Insert Stay scheming beat right now. Yeah, man. Yo. To the right, I have my guy. The one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's get it. Pablo. A.K.A. Bleak. Thank you, thank you. A.K.A. Made by Pablo. Hey. A.K.A. DJ Wavy Seal. A.K.A. I'm not letting no pussy pass me. I got to smash it because I'm that guy. Yes. How the subscriptions looking? They're looking good, man. Hi. Okay, okay. You feel me? You still, still 1%? Top? Still 1%? Still 1%? You haven't okay. fallen off? You haven't, you haven't, you haven't hit them with that I'm new content? That, I'm in front of that I see. I seen you can dip under day. the one now. I seen top point three, oh like top gosh. point three oh for creators. And you gotta, oh might have to step it up a little bit. Right. New couple, camera? A couple more TikTok. New camera? Some more? I need to change my view. New apparatus? I need to give myself okay, a better angles? Better angles. Better angles. You gotta cop some new fits. You gotta know your angles. You gotta cop the new fits. That's important, guys. You gotta know your angles. If you're using the fits, if you're reusing the fits. I think I might be using Did you cop some negligee? Negligee. Yeah, so you can just pull your, you know, you got the, the strap, the, the, see-through, the see-through basketball shorts with the... I got some. Ah! You can unstrap the joint. 
I got like, like breakaway got pants. Yeah, the breakaway dick though. Just the breakaway. I tried. Crotch. Like, just a crotch. Like, Take it down. For the shorties. Yeah, it's still pants, but yeah, it's, yeah. Nick Lachey. It's 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 a hallway to the ball. And no, I didn't say Nick Lachey. It's Nick Lachey. Nick Lachey. You know how it's shorties, you know how shorties wear some negligee for That's you? You know, you throw the negligee on. Episode 30. You want to go catch it? Check that out. Episode 30. That was fire. Cool. And once again, I'm, I'm your host, of course, uh, Aim Gunner, oh. a.k.a. Low Life, Woo. a.k.a. Horsepower, Facts. A.k.a. AKA Gregory Hines, the Facts. great dance legend, Woo, a.k.a. Tap, tap, tap. Moonwalker, Moonwalker, a.k.a. The Real Gunner. Yes. A.k.a. Homer dipping to the bushes. <laughs> on the questions. On the questions. <laughs> and Welcome I'm out of here. Welcome back to the Blunt Exchange. Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, and keeping it blunt Let's with us. Blunt. Oh, now's the time it. to light it up if you got it. Mm. And guys, well, you want to you go straight into word of the day? Let's get into the word of the day, word baby. Of the day. Word of the day. Word of the day. Word of the day. Uh, word of yeah. the day. Let's go. Word of the day is sponsored by Crump. Once again, he enjoyed it so much last time. Yeah. It was a great word. Let's get it, Crump. Let's do, hey. let's do it again. Tell us. Tell us. Tell today's, us. What we learning today? Today's word is undulate. 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 No, undulate. U n d u n d u l a t e. Undulate. Undulate. Un un. Undulate. All right. How do you pronounce? This should be a pronunciation. Undulate. 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 Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, can I uh, can I have it in a sentence, Seriously? sir? The surface of the liquid undulated gently. All right, unraveled? some sort, it's some the sort of movement. Surface of the liquid, but what kind of movement? Undulated would it be? gently. It unraveled. It took over. It it like. <laughs> yeah, right. It's it spread. has to do with movement, it's right? Red. It dissolved and spread. It has to, it, you are heading. Y'all are heading in the right direction. Undul- it has to do with motion. Yeah, it has to. So it moved in and it took over. It spread. It. That's a good one. Undulate. So, I, 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 I'm thinking of a word. Undulate. Undulate. Hmm. It took over. I think it keeps. Undulate. No, undulate. It's just some sort of movement. I don't know what the right word is. All right. So the definite. But I would love to know this one. This one sounds yeah, good. The def- I, I just want to know if the, we pronounce it. That's the way it's pronounced. It should have the pronunciation. Press it. Oh, uh, uh-uh. uh. And I think it's. Just pronounce it. Undul- undulate? Undulate? Uh, like J. Uh, 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 uh. Undulate. Undulate. Yeah. Okay, I'm it's sorry. It's like when the, you know, like little fish and shit be having the, the un- shit undulating and shit uh, like that. So it's move. some sort of movement. It's like, what? Like a motion? Sorry. Vigorous movement? Undulate. The, uh, the definition is move or go with a smooth up and down motion. Oh. I like wow. that. So it's like, like up and down. It has to be up and down motion. Yeah. yeah. Can we have some synonyms or uh, other similar Playing ones? Playing the banjo. Huh. So Shorty would undulate her fingers across her. Or, or homeboy. Her fingers. Or homeboy Playing would also. Yeah. Mm. Or she was she, he was gently undulating. Move or go with a smooth young. up and down motion. Maybe like undulating lotion on your skin. Yeah. Mm. Or, you know, I like that. Um, I like I mean, that. So it's a smooth up and down motion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go. I mean, move or go with a like smooth a up and down motion. Undulate. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah, the undulate Thank you, thighs. Crump. That was Let excellent. Mm. And I think we can use that one a lot. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> so guys, man, guys, mm. been, is he going to undulate her thighs? Yeah. I think there's need I think we're leaving leaving some words out. Oh, okay. That yeah. may I with the context? May I undulate what? your may thighs? I? First of all, can I may I please undulate on your thighs? You're right. Oh, that's not the word I think it is. On. My fault. That's not the word I thought it was. Moving on. Guys, how's it going? Good, yo, great. What, yo, y'all, y'all heard anything? What, uh, There's what so happened? much to talk about this so week. Much. What, where are we so, starting, though? You, which true. I want to start with um, music. Y'all want to talk sports. Y'all want to talk pop culture. Y'all want to talk I know, I know your boy, news. I know your boy Drake uh, dropped a three-pack. You want to talk about it? Three-pack. Three you want to talk about it at all? Yeah, it's good music. Beautiful music. I mean, it was like the hottest rapper in the game right now yeah. and the best current like rapper uh-huh. on the same song. I agree. It wasn't the best song, in my opinion. Out of the three, it was my least favorite. Out of the and three, let's just be let's just be clear of what we're talking about. Yeah. Who do you think is the hottest? The rapper hottest right rapper. Now? The hottest rapper right now is for the t- for the immediate Which time being. Right now is Lil Baby. I like, agree. Lil Baby. Okay. I agree. Lil and Baby is probably the hottest rapper. Right and the best rapper, is Drake. Drake is still at the top. Yeah, he's still at the top of the game. I agree with that. Like, so both you, of them on the same. You clearly, both of them on the same song. Yeah. Who killed it better? I think Obviously I think Little Drake. Baby rolled the beat a little better and had more to prove, especially being on a Drake project and a Drake song. And Drake probably was like, "Yo, of course I want you to kill it," but um, yeah. I th- I think he gave him like I I think Drake gave him his verse first and like, "Yo, this is what I did to it," 
And Lil Baby was like, yo, I'm trying to get to the level that he's at, so let me just go super hard. And Drake was like, I mean, I'm cool. And I, I got the album dropping soon. That's interesting. Let me. All right, you gave me a whole lot of... Uh, on, that, it, on that particular yeah, song. Yeah, like I, for see, that, I, for, I can for, hear your perspective. But what I'm trying to say to you is just straight pound for pound bar. Because I, I don't know behind the scenes. Yeah. What do you I, mean, can't I, even, I don't know behind the scenes. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying... I'm like, not saying I know behind the scenes. No, no. I'm just saying, like, um, who do you think had a better verse? Who rapped better? Uh, I think Drake rapped better, but Lil Baby flowed better. Okay. So who would you give it to? Who won that? Who won that song? I know it's not a competition. Lil who Lil won Baby. that song? Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Lil Baby won Lil it. Baby. Drake. How do you feel? Drake. Drake. But all I understand. Way? I understand what uh, Crump is. What do you agree that Lil Baby and Drake are probably the two top rappers right now? Do you agree with that? That that uh, whole statement? Um, I think so. Your man's been pretty quiet. Who? I think so. Bleak's man's been pretty quiet. Who Which Bleak's one? Man? Future. Oh, church, 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 church. No, I'm just saying he's been he he's been kind of quiet over the past year you know, future, and some change. Future speaks two years. Future I'm just speaks saying. for us. He's a national treasure. He must be protected so at all costs. Is future costs. better than is future higher than Drake a little baby right now? Future is a different. Future's like you know like how there's like Drake's more you know than future. You know how there's like religious music. It's like a different genre. Yeah. Like future is a different genre of music. Like future. I mean, I feel is this for- is the sidestepping from the actual answer. This is the tap dancing right now instead of just answering the question. Yeah. I asked him what a, dir- call- asked him a direct this? man question. You know, I said who? I said is is future hotter or better than Drake or Baby? Like, should he be considered higher or higher ranked or status wise ranked higher than them currently? Well, if you ask me personally, I would say yes. Then but- who? The Lil Baby and yeah. Drake. The no, both? not Drake, but Lil Baby, of course, yes. But in my opinion, Future hasn't dropped nothing in a minute. Yes, I know. So, like, Drake, Lil Baby had the best album He just last dropped the album with, Lil, with uh, Uzi Vert, which is a I fucking mean, amazing still. I mean, that's a, that's a joint project. I'm not, I'm not saying that's not what... Is, I'm not saying that's not so Before that, he dropped another album with Uzi Vert. Before I'm not that. saying... Yeah, but he hasn't dropped a solo project. Lil Baby's album last year was the best album of the year. But we're getting Argu- mad Arguably, arguably. People in my are, opinion. Yeah. Everything's in my opinion. But mm-hmm. we're getting... Far, who, do you think be, who do you think had a better verse, Drake or Baby... On that song, that's one. That one. I'm to be honest with you, it's tough. Drake, it's tough. I feel like they're both so talented. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. I just think maybe Drake's uh, perspective right now is just a little bit more uh, In tune. refined. Uh-huh. Just everything's just so much more polished and like. I, I don't know. Drake is at, in a real good pocket right now. He's in a good he, mentally. He's in a great place right now. He's like, oh, he's like, it's like if it's, you want to do an analogy to sports, right? Yeah. He's like an athlete that he's lost a little bit of his explosiveness, but like his explosiveness is like a touchdown. He, I Drake shit is not. I don't agree. Okay, like he used to be like Drake every line is a status, nigga. Everything is every line is a is a punch is a bar is a yeah. status mm-hmm. is a fucking quote every yeah. fucking line. See, he's lost a little bit of that, or maybe he's turned directions. Whatever it is, he could have yeah. pivoted from it. Whatever it is, I think it's, a, I think it's, it's not as much. Pivot, it's not, not as much than an ability to not do it. Now, that's it's more depth now. That's like, all he's I'm talking saying. more deep. I mean, concepts. but, but like, that but go ahead, go ahead. isn't what you're. you're what you're talking about are two separate things. You, now you're talking about subject matter, but before you're talking about approach to the music. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, when you're trying to get that spot of or separate yourself from the pack, mm-hmm. you go a little like how Baby's trying to put himself in a position to be considered one of the top top people in the game right now. I think he already he's, is. He, I, I agree. Fast. I agree. It was no, no, fast no, no. too. No, no, I agree. But mm-hmm. I'm saying he's he's attacking these beats and attacking these songs. And somebody like Drake, who's already a there, already established. Yeah, uh-huh. he's not. He's not. He's not trying to prove anything. And, I think, with this and to be honest with you, he's I think, giving the platform to the young dude to prove it for him ultimately. And I think to be honest with you, sometimes okay. that's point. when the best rap comes when you're already accepted, right. established. Yeah. You've know already put the, the crazy right. work and you've covered the bases that you did. You did the party songs, you did the sad songs, you did the, you did you covered all the bases. You know what I mean? You have an album or three out. You know what I mean? Right. Now you can get deeper. Now right. you can get more deeper, complex. Now you don't deeper. have to give the whole backstory every time. I can just get into the shit. And I think that's where Drake is. He's already established everything. He did everything he has to do and more. Yeah. Now he's next level with it. He's the shit he's talking about. Niggas can't. Some niggas can't even get into shit like that now. Can we talk about? Because we can't pepper? even understand. We don't know who you are. You can't get into that. We know Drake now. Can we talk about the okay. lemon pepper freestyle? Because I Go feel ahead, that, was the, the that was standout, the standout. Uh, the, the 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 fire. Yeah, that was the. That's that what was the entree. Oh my gosh, that wow. I mean, Dr- Ross killed it. And Ross, whenever Ross and Drake come together, it's yeah. fire every ten single ten. time. Drake and Ross together, it was, it's ten joints. You know, you did it, the math. I don't even know if it's ten, but well, you're just saying they're shooting, they're yeah. shooting a thousand, yeah, whatever it is. A thousand. They're not. They haven't missed. 
Yeah, yeah I really enjoy the combination of Drake and uh, Rick Ross. That's I a, agree. That's an excellent uh, combination. That's something yeah. I really enjoy. Um, and I think once again, another hit. Eventually, you know, people will, uh, you know. Can you give me a better combo? Oh yeah, come on. Are they? Are they top? Is it's that combo top combos five combos of all time? Let's get into some of the top five combos of all time. Then fuck it. Is Drake it and Ross. Of course. Later. Jay and, and Kanye. Jada and Styles. Damn, you're gonna take my second. That was my second. That was my. Oh, I mean, Bleak, my bad. Bleak. Who? No, 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 no. Yeah, good. You, I'm agreeing with whatever you're saying. Red and Meth. Red and Meth. No. Uh, Jersey Stand Up. Ghost and Ray. I'm gonna. Uh, Duo, uh, like, like, outcast. Not, like, like, because we're not, no, outcast. See, see, I'm not talking, you're talking about, about back and forth. I'm talking about back and forth on a song, not Fat Joe and not Big duos. I might say, yeah, that's not a duo. Cam and Cam and Jewels, Cam and Jewels, or Cam and Jim. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Jim fan. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a little particular to Jim Jones. Uh-huh. I'm a Jim fan. So, so, what is the question? Some of the best niggas like, that Jay-Z, just do songs together, yeah, Jay Z and, and Kanye are not a Max duo, Max and French, Jay Z and Kanye are not that. a duo. I feel that. Jay Z and Kanye are not a duo, so they, they had just, an album just, together. Yeah, they just put out about, an album together. Okay, how about Jay and Ross? Jay and Ross. Jay and Ross shit is also crazy. Jay and Drake. T Pain and Lil Wayne. Wayne. How many songs they did? Two. Three? Jay and Drake. They've done. They, I don't think they. Jay did and Drake. What they have? Pound Cake. What else? Mm-hmm. Two more. Uh, uh, Light it up. Whatever that shit uh, is. One more. Uh, you got one more. There's only one more. Yeah, man. It's not hmm. enough. Interesting. Not a duo. Not they enough. can't be a duo because they're going for the same thing. Drake and, Drake and Future have a yeah, they have mad shit together. That's fire. Future and Uzi? No. J and B. Too young? J and B. No, that's not really a... Yeah. No, that's no. not. Yeah. Sorry. Come on, guys. There's so many more fire joints. S- oh no, Snoop and Dre. Snoop and Dre. Yeah, Snoop and yeah Dre. that's fire. Snoop and Dre. Do they have enough joints? No, they don't have joints at all. Fifty and Banks? These 50 guys and... that's different. That's just business. That's not really music. <laughs> Hold on, 50 shit is not music. Stop disrespecting 50, I'm man. I'm not disrespecting, but he said 50 and M, and 50 and M don't have songs like that. That's they got a couple joints. They got a couple joints. I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. Like, they don't have, have songs a like that. They don't collab. They got songs. some songs, bro. They don't collab. And they got some hard body gangster right. kill nigga shit. Like, shitting on Benzino and shit like that. Like, killing niggas. Mad niggas. Fat Joe. Like, going crazy. No, Eminem didn't get on no Fat Joe shit. Ja Rule. Yeah, shitting on Ja Rule and all Yeah, that. they came together for that. So, that was there any memorable lines from that uh, Lemon Pepper Freestyle that really stuck with you? Oh, I know you got one. That one line that we were talking about the other day. It all starts 360, it all comes full circle. All comes full circle. You got some beef with me, you got to walk around it. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was pretty fucking, nice. Um, There's a shit that was like... Your fucking, all your albums sound like fire drills. They sound real, but them, but them shits ain't. Them shits ain't. I mean, everybody, the game. Basically. basically everybody. Because that's what people do. Most rap. Like most all this, you know, man, where, where's the niggas like, oh. the niggas that you love? Where's Jermaine, huh? You love Jermaine. Where's he at? Jermaine who? J. Cole. I, that's what my man. So we we shit, talk, we the best. on J. Cole. Why aren't, you, why aren't you coming at Drake? These guys are Why aren't working. you saying, Drake, shut up, nigga? It's me, Jermaine Cole. <laughs> they all working. <laughs> it's me, Jermaine. And they got to work even harder now after he dropped those three songs. Nigga, no one, listen, man. They're just going to deflect. No one's going to listen. Drake killed it. He said some fire shit. We're yeah. just going to pretend it doesn't exist because we can't fuck with it. Nah. Yeah. I'm, I guess I, let me just take my shit off a of distro, okay? Or copy and, and just it. wait and or just wait a couple of other then, months. Yeah. But, but to... Kendrick is chilling. I mean, it's chilling. From, yeah, where's Roddy Rich? The, Roddy Rich, Rich is combos. chilling way too long. He just dropped the Heat Rock in 2019. It's about to be mid-2021. Yeah, but he just Drake about to come through and just hit him with the... Hit you with all Drake the is melodies. a different type of animal. There's only only a few niggas become the best. So actually, you know, it's, it's only a few niggas that become the best, man. They have different work ethic, different skills. It's different. So, so uh, is Drake leaps and bounds over the competition? No, the, it's coming back to the pack. But right now, he's still Rabbit yeah, wise. he's still way better than most of the niggas. And the niggas that can fuck with him can't swag out as much as him. They can't make good enough songs to that. be heard. But bar wise, they got it because there's mad niggas. I don't want to mention names that are no, nice as names. shit. Who are, but they just can't nice make fire Drake? songs, bro. Lyrically, as nice as Drake. Yeah. He's talking about like yeah. you heard the lemon pepper. He, niggas can do that. It's because they sound it. different. Still fire. I mean, without melodies, I'm talking about straight bars. Yeah, bar wise, they could do it. Nah, they can't. Like who? Do it like name Drake. some names. Like how Drake name names. 
Not like Drake, because Drake is Drake, but like at the oh, same man. level of skill. Oh, name like names. the same wizardry. Like, Ken, like Kendrick. Of course. Like Kendrick. See, I'm, I named the name. I feel like I feel like you I didn't, guys I didn't, I didn't dance away from it. I'm just saying, I don't want to put like too who? many names like out there. Give me, give me one name. There. You took the name of one name I would say. <laughs> you took one name I would say easily without being grime. So who's, a, so who's another? Because other shits are grime. So who's another? Well, I, think I don't want to get into this beef. So, um, oh, look at you. Tap dance. Tap, tap dance. dance. Yo, Blake, tap I know you had some topics you wanted to get into. Wait, what? We just jumped like this? You yeah, we are. Yeah, you, hear, you, hear, you hear this? You hear this? Y'all want to get good with the duos? Y'all want to know? Huh? We did good with the duos. Rocket. He's on a Tesla rocket now. He's yeah. just shooting out of here. Yeah. Sheesh. Why are you trying to back me down and say the niggas that I like? I'm not trying to back you down, but you can't yeah, just do that. All right, so it was just um, NBA All Star Weekend the other week. Uh, Steph Curry won the uh, three point shootout, <laughs> three point shootout in uh, dramatic fashion. It's a bonus was it one. Best shooter of all time. How was yeah. it dramatic? What was he it won dr- on the last shot? He won on the last shot. That's dramatic. I mean, oh, you mean like you knew he was going to win, so it wasn't no, dramatic. It's not that, I mean, everyone already. Michael Conley put up a fucking fight. <laughs> Michael Conley almost won that shit. He yeah. lost by one point. Yeah. yeah. Put up a great fight. You thought on the last shot he could have missed that. You thought Steph was gonna win. You thought he was gonna like landslide it. It was. And it 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 wasn't a landslide. I mean, that's what everybody thought. It's the pressure, man. He balled out first round, but Uh, slam dunk contest. Who won that? The dude from uh, Anthony Simmons. Yeah, from uh, or Simons. Is it Simmons or Simons? Anthony Simmons. Anthony Simons. He's from uh, Portland. Yeah, I said them both. He's, He's from the Trailblazers. <laughs> yeah. Sabonis won the skills challenge. He from, definitely uh, there the was favorite. Okay, okay. Him He's good. He's good. He's under. He's uh, yeah. underrated. Yeah. Uh, Finally, an All Star. That's good for him. So Team LeBron won uh, four straight All Star games. You know. You know how. You know how Bron uh, Giannis. Does. Giannis won league. Uh, won All Star game MVP. Bron the goat. In my Bron opinion, GM. Steph should have won it, but I feel why they gave it to him because he, yeah, uh, he, he, he didn't, didn't miss, miss a, a shot. shot. He didn't miss a shot. And he made three. Banked two threes. He made three threes. He banked two of them. It doesn't matter. You made three threes. If you bank two threes, you only made. One thing. Yeah. Oh, Come on, man. That. You're not playing it. And like hood rules. Like you made it, but you know, you didn't call it. I mean, that. he's not bragging it. You didn't call it. He was looking that was a mistake. That was though. lucky shit. Niggas don't shoot straight on bank shots. Hey, from man, three. It worked. Niggas it worked. don't do that. It worked for him. God respect. So were you happy that they had a uh, all-star game? Of course. Um, I thought they wasn't gonna do that shit, to be honest with you. Why? Because uh, Braun said no? Yeah, because Braun said he didn't want to do it. Yeah, and at the beginning of the season, I thought they said they weren't going to do it. Right. They, well, bro, they did the, some, most of the players. Oh, yeah, they did. Remember, they were like, yeah, we're yeah. not even going to have an All-Star game. And then they were right. like, yo, fuck it. Niggas are watching the NBA again. Of Let's course. the All-Star <laughs> right. game. Fuck it. Right. It's part of their contract. They have to do it. Anyway. I mean, if you're a Knicks fan, definitely it was trash. But if you just watched it to watch it, I think it was enjoyable. Definitely favoritism towards the Portland kid. But... Aside from that. Oh, so you were good with good. the slam dunk contest? Yeah. Not, they need to do something. They need to change something with the slam dunk contest because it's, it's, not, it's not, not hitting anymore. What is it that's it's not, not hitting anymore? Yo. So come up with some rules, man. Maybe we'll have some influence by then. I think it uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know shorter, what you can do. Worse. To, like, the league is just changing. Like, pe- like people rather see a three point shootout from like damn near half court than a dunk contest now. They'd rather see Steph and Dame go for a shoot off. At the half court line, more so than a they dunk should change. Contest. They should change the dunk contest to like a one on one, like full court, but make the court smaller. And then you get points for every dunk, and you have like two minutes. And whoever gets the ball, if you lose it, whatever, you don't have to dribble. You just have to dunk, and then they can try but to what stop is that, you. King of the court, a three like a one on one, but it's like a dunk, it's gonna be mad dunks. It's gonna be a dunk fest. You dunk, the other person gets the ball. They dunk, you get the other person gets the ball. You could try to stop their dunk, uh-huh. so you get dunked on. Uh-huh. You could block dunks to get points oh, and take man, points away. Some shit like that. Whoever gets the most amount of dunks in, in, in the two in minute first, like, ah, oh, and it's over. Okay. 15 to two, 10. You only get one ones. try each at a, at a time. Yeah. No. Back I feel and forth. that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. No, man. You can get out the way and let a nigga go, or you can try to yeah. block it. So then you can get dunked on too, and you get yeah. extra shit for that too, probably. Make it a dunk contest champion or a block contest. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. either one. Like, like a one on some fucking, like, you know, the steel, like Iron Man competition. Like, something. who's the strongest nigga? Two way competition. Ooh. I just made up, yeah, nigga. the dunk contest is just. I just not, made up a game, nigga. Just not hitting anymore. Yeah, the, the slam dunk contest is, is like everybody's seen all these dunks, and I see niggas on the street do crazier shit. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, what do we do? We can't bring street niggas into the NBA. It's the NBA. It's like hollowed. It's like, uh-huh. yeah. here we go. You know what I mean? I can't just bring niggas from the street in to play this shit. Yeah. I mean, 
I don't even think there. I don't think there was ever anything wrong ever with the dunk contest. It's just boring now. It's not well, the rules are whack or some shit. They gotta change the rules. the rules. One chance you mess they it up, you're out of there. And let like ten niggas go. They like whatever. The Bad niggas can come. Uh, you miss a dunk, you're trash. You get a score automatically. The stars don't even want to do it. Level. The stars don't even want to do it. Too much to lose. What's there to lose? Getting hurt? Embarrassment. Young, oh, embarrassment. Everybody, a lot of kids that come out of college. But I think the big name people, I think they'd, they'd, they'd get the love if they just did it. No, they'd get the embarrassment. Niggas are just waiting. This is the age of clowning niggas. Niggas will clown you for doing the good things if you fuck. If you, if you graduate like as the valedictorian of your class and go up to the shit and you fall and bust your ass, that's all niggas will talk about for the rest of your life. And they'll show a thousand. Vi- they won't even talk about that you were the valedictorian. They'll be like, look at this dumbass nigga falling. And every day it'll be a gif, yeah. it'll be a meme, it'll be an every video right. they wouldn't even talk about the good shit <coughs> that's the world we live in now so niggas like ah nah nigga I'm a 10 time all star whatever I'm that's it it's over I'm never speaking doing that speaking of uh, all star weekend basketball related activities did you see the two on two with uh, Quavo and Jack Harlow versus Little Baby and Two Chains in the basketball game can, can we stop assuming that uh, rappers can play basketball can, when do we stop doing that it's racist. Like, like, it honestly is. Like, can we just stop it? Wow. Shout out to Bobby Schmurder. Shout out. First of all, shout out to Bobby Schmurder. We haven't been able to say that yet. Oh, yeah. yeah shout right? out Bobby Schmurder. Shout and, out Bobby uh, Schmurder. Roddy Re- Re- and Roddy Rebel. Roddy Rebel. Uh, welcome home. Welcome home. You know welcome what I mean? Back. Live it up, welcome man. Home, man. Stay, Stay right. Guys, Put some music out. Down. Put some music out. We definitely going to support. Jesse Owens. Facts. That Jesse Owens shit is fire. I can't believe Nav is a rapper every time I see it. I can't believe it. But you love his music. But you love Jesse Owens shit. went crazy. Jesse Owens, good shit, good shit, Rowdy. So, um, uh, so little baby's horrible at basketball. Little baby's horrible. Fab, we knew he would be horrible. Oh man, those missed air balls. Well, but he's from Brooklyn, so you know. He's of course I got ball. I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, I. Uh, uh. I mean, air ball. That shit was <laughs> madness. <laughs> they really when they took the when they actually yeah that was that was no good. So, what can you do? You know, there's another basketball. Quavo balled out. No, he Quavo, dropped, he Quavo did 17, good. I think he had what, 17 points, 14 rebounds, something no, like that. No, Quavo, Quavo's won an MVP before. Yeah, what, an all-star game? The like, NBA, one of them yeah, all-star yeah. They, yeah. yeah, he's good. Yeah, when yeah. they stop. He, he actually, he like, plays ball. Like, yeah. He gives a fuck. A couple things about... Uh, Two chains a little old now. Yeah. He used to have it. We know. Yeah, he's a 40-year-old dude. Shout out, shout out he's ASU. Playing, he's playing with 20-year-olds. You know how we do? He's playing against 20-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. 20-something-year-olds. You, know you think he coaches? He's worried about the deluxe album. Yeah. <laughs> him and Brown are worried about him the and Brown, Him and Brown are working Is on that deluxe coaching? I thought he was coaching. Yeah, he's a little, you know, he's speaking, a and another thing, speaking of All-Star Weekend, that I don't know. Oh, if are you worried about the, uh, the, the, the combination of uh, coronavirus because of the lifted mandates and HIV because it's, it is Atlanta, Shit. you know, the capital super, of debauchery and COVID, COVID IV. sex, HIV, land, Landia. Would so, you go? Would you go? To I didn't go for down. I did not go down to Atlanta for All Star Weekend. Were you I, concerned about the HIV or the? I corona? would not go to Atlanta for. I was. I probably wasn't going to go. Were you concerned about what would concern you more, the HIV or the Corona? The Corona. Okay. Because you're not even going to be around. Yeah, the HIV. yeah I'm not going to be around the HIV. But somebody, yeah. if somebody blood sneezed on you. Uh, like, oh my, nope. achoo, blood sneeze. Oh, man. I mean, aren't they wearing a mask? No, there's no mask no. Man- mandate. Down there. In Atlanta, there's no, no mask? There's no mask in Georgia no more, right? For real? I saw a couple, like... And there's, like, 13 states that, that have no mask. I thought there was, yeah. But, um, no I, 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 wouldn't, maybe, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I don't know. I'm not Let's just say that, you know, sometimes, I'm you not know. chilling in, one, I'm in public places where they're not wearing masks. Okay. That's just I not mean, what yeah. I'm doing. Okay. These people don't care. So did you, uh, in Atlanta, during All-Star Weekend, have you seen on social media there have been a lot of uh, people who are like, there's a girl who said she she put up a GoFundMe because she couldn't find, she couldn't find, she lost, She ultimately is broken, can't find her way home. Oh, and oh, then, she, why didn't you buy a two-way ticket, yeah, bitch? I don't How know. How you buy a one-way She's, ticket? Her GoFundMe is like, I can't. I'm broke and can't get my can't get back home. Yo, and then, is, have you seen how everybody else's mad? Other people's cars have been getting their tires taken off and been left on bricks well, in Atlanta. That's normal. Like especially no, they're like yo during uh, All Star Weekend. Yo, we're yo, from the Northeast. That's up. normal. I know we're from the Northeast and that's normal, but people in Atlanta weren't used to it. They still got rims on there. Yo, nice ass cars on yeah. on, stop on making, the floor. Stop making them little mansions so cheap, and all these New York niggas and all these New Jersey niggas wouldn't come down there and steal your cars. No, these these, these cars are on the street. 
Yeah, it's suburban. <laughs> Niggas is taking suburban tires areas. on the street. Oh my god! In public parking lots, oh like oh my god, like, like not at your crib. Oh my god! Like you're going to All Star Game a weekend events and, and you're parked on Broadway. Yeah, and they take your like Escalades oh on my bricks, god. At, like 2021 Escalades on bricks. Uh, with the rims, chargers rims. on bricks. You gotta look got for rims. you gotta look for a whole bunch of hood niggas in a big snap on. Yo, truck. like they're like yo. The I, hood, saw like mad mad video, I saw bad videos. I saw bad videos online. I saw mad videos online. Um, nice ass cars on bricks. That shit is crazy. In Atlanta during All Star Weekend, like yo, yeah. don't leave your car. Like, don't leave your car unattended, yo. Mm-hmm. Niggas is taking tires. I told you that when when you see the hood niggas pull up in the big snap on truck and open the sides and this. <laughs> It's a NASCAR quick, team pull like out. Eight to ten minutes. You know what it is. <laughs> out of here, nigga. Eight to All ten minutes. All them tires. That's like five rackies on a good car every time, at least. Five yeah. rackies. Five rackies. Five rackies. ATL's in New Newark. Mm. Oh, my oh God. Man. With better That's weather. Sad. Yeah. That's and more homosexuals. They've, they've come along so far. Oh, uh, did you see that, um, that, uh... Uh, oh. some guy on TikTok. Yeah. I don't know if he started if he's serious or not, but he came out as super straight. Yeah, I saw that. So you know how um, there's a whole bunch Stand. of different like you know what genders yeah. and yeah. Ge- a whole <clears throat> okay. So he came out as super straight, right? right. Okay. And super straight, I'm like, gender. yeah, he started a, a yeah. new uh, sexual preference. Yeah, because you know there's lesbians, gays, bisexuals. Trans, 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 you know, uh, um, whatever. Yeah. So he started yeah. super straight because how it is, he man. felt that he started, he felt, a, yeah, he felt that a lot of super straight people, which means that you are, uh, you were born a man or born a woman, and you are only attracted to born a woman or born a man, like heterosexually. Yeah. yeah. So, so I don't have. I'm not attracted to transsexuals. Mm-hmm. I'm not attracted to anything that wasn't born not, yeah. a woman. And if right? I'm a male, I'm only because attracted sh- to women born with XX chromosomes. Yeah. yeah. So because you know, it, he felt that he felt that before that, when you say that out loud, that you're not attracted to that, it's transphobic because they say that if a trans woman is now yeah. a woman, and you're not attracted to her, you're transphobic because yeah. it's a woman. Supposed to be. So if you're attracted to women, you should want to date. A, you if should, you're you should be open to. You should be open and to date attracted a trans to women. trans women because they're women. Yeah. Exactly. So he made super straight, yeah, which means that he's only attracted to natural born women. Mm-hmm. How do you guys feel about that? Any thoughts on that? Do you want to watch the video? Yeah, we can watch the video. Watch, video? watch it, man. Uh, Definitely. You're a heterosexual male. You know, if you say like, "Yo, man, I don't fuck with trans women," shit, like, it's like a new world where they like you get on you, like you, you can't. Yo, no, no. I wanted to be born a woman. You can't say that. Like that's crazy. Why can you not say that? It's okay. It's just, Should it's I just people. Says, I, I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's, you, it's, but you can't get offended for shit like that. Then you're, then you're pussy for getting offended for shit like that. Yeah. It's all like, it's, it's not healthy at all, man. To try to bridge, to try to bridge all of these things yeah, together yeah, 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 under it. one umbrella. I found it. Like, uh, the the, you never seen this shit? Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Everybody, pay attention. We're gonna play this shit right now. We're about to play it. It might be a commercial. Right. Yo guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called Sorry, commercial guys. Commercial. Why did that make you feel some kind of way? That he made a new sexuality? That made you feel crazy in your soul? You heard him right here. Like, That's my turtle Discover something brighter. Alright. Now actually it's called super straight. Okay? Since straight people or straight men is myself, I get called transphobic. Because I wouldn't date a trans woman. You know, they're like, would you date a trans woman? I'm like, no, why? That's a female. Uh, no, like, that's not a real woman to me. Like, I want a real woman. No, you're just transphobic. So now, I'm super straight. I only date the opposite gender, women, that are born women. So you can't say I'm transphobic now because that's just my sexuality, you know? Yeah. Any that's just a that's just a shortcut for another shortcut. It's, it's a it. shortcut to protect yourself. Yeah. But then look look at the hypocrisy. <laughs> They've now created a flag. Like this is now a movement apparently. All I said in my response was that it's honestly embarrassing that so many people lack the emotional maturity and intelligence to just introspect and reflect upon their prejudices and biases. So they make up a whole new sexuality to protect their transphobia, and TikTok is protecting it with their lives. They've now created a flag. Like this is now a movement. So she's hating on him. 
Are you judging somebody on their sexual preference? Mm hmm? They've now created a flag and started a movement. Sounds kind of like the homophobes back in the day saying, oh, those gays are banding together and starting some kind of movement. Huh. How dare them have a preference? Fucking hypocrisy! Why can't straight men or straight women have a preference, but gay people, lesbians, non-binary, or, or anybody else on the spectrum can have a preference, a community, and a movement around their fucking preference? Don't hate and be ignorant. Allow people to have a preference, right? Don't be super phobic to me if you don't fuck with me. I'm super Thoughts? Straight. No, I just people playing with, with information that they don't understand. So what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Hold on. What do you bleak mean when you take, say that? Bleak take, bleak no, take. I'm just saying, like, it's just now, like, this gentleman said that he's going to create a, a sexuality based on the people that he thinks. Oh, this last one was funny, That too. he I likes and so one. on and so forth. So it's just him having a sort of information that he's going to now use for whatever. That's all it is. But none of them can really change the way naturality and how natural and how the universe and everything works. So all of this is just... Entertainment. Yeah, it is entertainment. I it agree. Is. But But what? You you expect me here and try to convince a bunch of forts a bunch of eighteen, nineteen year olds about my sexuality? You're not you, hold that's on. not hold you're on. not super straight? You understand what I'm trying to say? Like you understand the comp the, the how complex it is and how confusing it could be to someone who who's immature doesn't understand what the fuck what what is it that they're going through? Hmm. You understand? So your fucking mind right. Yeah, I can't. I can't really entertain it. Because it's just immature people who can't understand their own, you know, they so just you're don't saying that You're saying that kid is immature for creating I don't, this I'm not saying strength? that him necessarily is immature. I just think that he has a, I did, he I, has information that he's obviously doesn't really understand and he's trying to, <laughs> what do you mean you know, when you say that? Use, what he's trying mean? to, you know, defend himself. What, he thinks he's defending himself. Yes, I think he's, he's defending not, himself from attacks. For he's himself. causing more trouble he's out, yeah. by de by coming out of the closet and saying, coming out of the closet <laughs> and declaring that he's super straight. Well, he doesn't have to because whoever it is he's trying to date will know that. So that's all he has to worry about at that moment at time. Doesn't have to worry about. Doesn't have to worry about everybody else who's supposedly commenting and telling him, you know. Yeah, that's an insecurity. That's that's different. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. What happened? Hold on. Oh man. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. That's a lot to. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's get a lot him. to get digest you. right there. Yo, I don't even understand. All right. Oh, okay. So hold on. What I'm trying to say is, okay. <clears throat> in this atmosphere, sometimes. Yeah. In this space, current landscape that we live. Yeah. In. Mm -hmm. Um. Sometimes you declaring that kind of choice or your preference like that in public. Yeah. Sometimes it's 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 tough. You get a little backlash. You get a little kickback, a little pushback. Oh, uh, by coming out by, of Super Street? Like, uh, before you said we even get to Super okay. Street. Uh -huh. Just saying like, yeah, I wouldn't date a trans woman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, understand. just saying that phrase right there is a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But why is that? Because, because a woman that's a a, le a homosexual woman, what's that? A lesbian. You right? want to. A lesbian woman can say, "I don't like men." Okay. I don't want to have sex with men. Right. I'm interested to know how many lesbian women would be down with a trans man. Who a trans like, woman that trans used to be a man. No, that was no a trans a woman that used to, that a man that used to be a woman. Like, she's now a man. Oh, I mean, my bad. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The other way around. Because she's a lesbian. I mean, those are both good questions, though. Mm -hmm. Those yeah, are both good. So. Those are both mind fucks. Can we get a lesbian on? You can see. All right. Hit us up. Lesbians, reach out. Please. Um, Walk us through. Let's learn. Let's learn uh, some shit. Yeah, yeah. So, in the landscape, you can't even say that you don't. So, he's just trying to protect himself and put a, uh, let it be known that, listen, it's not no hate. I don't have no... Nothing against anyone. Yeah. I just would rather not date a woman that wasn't born a woman. Mm -hmm. Right. I agree. But who do he feels like he has to express this to? Do, are you, do you have you not seen it? If it's is, not for is, this, is it is the is the idea foreign to you to get that to see someone get pushed back for saying that? 
No, or saying the that they wouldn't date a trans woman? You've what's never seen that? What seems to be I'm saying, I'm just asking you, have you seen something like that? Have you seen a man just say something about, oh, I wouldn't do that? That wasn't a woman yeah, or something like happened. that, and it gets crazy for him yeah, immediately. That's, that's happened forever. In so he wants to like, protect himself to be able to say that and be like, listen, it's not no hate. It's yeah. no malice. There's no ill will. Yeah. There's nothing like that. It's just that mm-hmm. I don't do that. But what I'm asking is, who the fuck does he feel like he has to express this to? You feel me? He's just no. He's just because to be honest with you, a, if he a, feels a, like a that, proactive that's move. the way he feels. I understand that, but if it's that's the way he feels, move. then once he f- he knows he feels like that, then that's that's where that ends. That's what should be important. And then whoever he reaches out to, if he needs to question that, then that means he's obviously in the wrong place. You understand? So once you you start expressing yourself on TikTok about something that you know you're gonna get this negative attention for, then you question. Oh, you're saying he's just trying to go viral. That's uh, what you're saying. He's as- just- aside from everything I said from before, yeah. That's also, that's why I called it immature. That's what You think it's immature and there's no, there's, yeah. no, there's no need for because it? Because we know that these so people basically you're are saying, going through their own You think there's no need for it? It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's... To, to binge of someone in security is, yeah. What do you guys think? I, I, I'm just saying. Yeah, exactly. So you're too sensitive by doing that because heterosexual means that. Exactly. No, but they're trying to say that heterosexual doesn't mean that because I'm a woman now. Yeah. It doesn't but matter what just, they say because you know what you are. You know you're heterosexual. Why no, but in the... In, no, do you understand, but in but the, you understand what I'm saying? No, exactly. He's saying in okay. society. That's how society's looking at yeah. it. A trans woman is a woman now. Yeah. So you're hating on her by not even being open to date her because she's a woman. Don't you like women? Essentially like a race, almost. Like, like they'd be like a race. No. Like, essentially, like, no, you know how if, if, if you came out and said, I won't date black women. Yeah. I won't that's date what I white said, women. Yeah, it's like it, it almost comes off like, it's women. almost, it almost comes yeah. off as like a race-esque. Yeah. you consider a woman who's already, who's a trans, who's a trans, like, she's had the surgery. Do you consider that person a... She is, she's whatever she calls herself. She's a trans woman. she's not naturally... So the question was, what do you consider a, a post-op yeah. transsexual, right? Yeah. Transsexual. Transsexual woman. Post-op. What do you, how do you feel about that? No different. That's, I'm that's, not, I'm not, I'm, you, that's not something be, you're interested in. I'm not, that's something I'm not interested yeah, okay. in. And it, Into what? Do you think that she has to disclose that she is? I feel so. Because after the surgery, then I'm, I'm like she has her IDs changed. Yeah. She changed her name. You, I, you, I feel, how would you know? I feel if, right? I feel if, the way that feel technology if, is now, you I wouldn't feel, know. I feel if she wants the. I feel if she was trying to uh, have any kind of serious relationship, I think she should, uh, like, uh, like you know, um, disclose that somehow on the first date. I don't know if that's Graham, but I'd want to know ASAP Rocky. Of course, ASAP. Yeah. Like I you feel like, the same way, Blake. Of course, I want to know ASAP. I don't want to indulge in anything like that. So, out of respect, that sh- I should be told. So you also don't want to indulge in anything like that. I don't. Fire, yeah. fire, fire. Yeah. So I mean, that's like that's an interesting topic that we should bring up probably in the future again. So what is this? People saying that super super hetero is unnecessary. They're saying it's unnecessary. They think, I, think, I don't think you have to. Explain but yourself. but he but I agree that if he wants to do that, then he, he should be able to. He people be able are to do it. people are right. just making up whatever they want to make up. His is at least it's 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 based in something, and it's a protection that that he, that he seems he feels that he needs. Right. Because he feels like he's getting attacked, or he's seen right. people get attacked for it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, or I've seen people get or attacked. He, for or it. he just wants to be as specific as possible. Yes, to, to eliminate if, all if, if the there, extra. Because BS. if there are guys who are will, who are dating uh, trans w- women and have no problem with it and consider themselves heterosexual, heterosexual I don't want to be in that bracket. Yeah, he he doesn't want to consider. He, he's and not, I think he's yeah. well within his rights. I support it. Are you heterosexual if you mess with a trans woman? To you, I it's post. It's so over my head, yeah. Yeah, that's over my head. I mean, it's like, over your head, gotta, yeah, bro. Because it, it, or you don't want to even do it. Let's not even do no, it. No, it's just like I. Uh, I mean, I feel like it's smart uh, not to do it. I get it, but I, I feel like we're blood exchange. We don't give a fuck. What is it, what is the question now? 
Are you a heterosexual male if you no. sleep with a transsexual woman? I mean, Post op. No. Like she has the va- she because you know legally she has you're the not vagina. Gay. You're not gay. I'm not saying you're gay. I'm just saying. You're back on me, Corey. Uh, so, uh, but say what you have, say whatever you want. Uh, you don't uh, think you're gay? Do you, if you know before, like if you what if you paid for it? Are you gay? Uh, Shit. Like you paid for the surge. Like it's not. You're, no, I don't feel you're gay. I just feel like you're just. It's something else. Not. I just like if that's how you, 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 you can't relate. You can't relate. You don't understand that, it. If you consider that heterosexual, I want to be. So, uh, I need to be super heterosexual then, yo. Like real talk, yo. <laughs> Yo, real talk, yo. So, so you understand it. Like, I mean, so you respect yeah, it. Like, because I'm not gonna say the person who has sex with uh, a post-op uh, yeah. person is gay. I'm not saying that because that's a that's a that's like you know by law that's a woman now. So like, yeah. but that's not a traditional woman, and I think that's a there's got to be some kind of separation. And I, I, if that's if 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 he's if he's jumping on the super train, yeah, you know I mean. Ooh. Buy a ticket. So we fucking with the we, so so we blunt exchange. It. Do we agree with it? Agree with. Do we at least accept it? Super straight, super straight sexual orientation. I don't. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because if it I exists, am. if you say it exists, it means that, that, that means that you're super, super straight. straight. I'm not gonna say I'm super straight. I'm straight. I'm. <laughs> that's it. And I've well, hold on. My my, my thing is, if you're straight, yeah. You see how you see the atmosphere that we live in. You see the atmosphere that we live in. A man can be straight. And be honestly, by the definition, this newfound definition. To, by natural, hold on, hold on. I need y'all to answer on, that question. Let me by get this off real law. quick. Let me get it off. Look at the atmosphere that we live in. A man can be uh, heterosexual and straight, but is so afraid to say that he's super straight. Just to, He doesn't want to deviate. He doesn't want to stir the pot. He doesn't want to go against whatever's happening right now. That he's afraid to say that he's super straight. Because if a straight man can have sex with a transsexual woman... Mm-hmm. As my colleague said earlier, yeah, then I'm not in that category. Okay, because the only way that I would have sex with a transsexual woman is if I was tricked. Okay, because if I have the power of choice, which is I think that's yeah. the choice is freedom. I think we live in America, we're supposed to be free. Yeah, there's honesty and freedom. Freedom is the power. The choice. Choice is freedom, right? So, yeah, I think in, in, in this country of the free. I would know if you were transsexual, and then you know, hey, respectfully, I'm not into that. I'm not into that. Yeah, exactly. So a super straight, I'm not against it. I don't think I have to declare it. My track record speaks for itself. Yeah, but um, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But if I mean by the definition, I guess I am. Yeah. But I'm not repping it. I don't have to rep it. But you know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not but you know what it is. I'm gonna put it in my bio. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a Duracell yeah, battery. You saw the flag. Yeah. yeah. So we out, we out of there. We out of there. That was a good topic. I like that. That was a good one. topic. That was a good. That was some juice in there. I like that. that was good. Yeah. There's some good joints. Oh, yeah. How would you qual- how would you classify a male who was um, who considered himself heterosexual that was having sex with you know a post op transgender woman? Um, I don't. I'm not the kind of person to judge other people or tell them what they're doing or what they're saying. So I'm pretty sure they would consider that heterosexual sex. Uh huh. With me, I think that's a little off. I don't know what the words really mean, but to me, probably that would be like queer. But I guess uh-huh. that's not queer because she's a woman and he's a man. So whatever they feel. You asking me my personal what? view? I wouldn't do that. I think it's different. I'm not sure what it is. I personally don't want to. I wouldn't do it. Do you uh, identify as a super se- super? I don't identify <laughs> any, anything. I'm Aim Gunner. Okay. That's it. I identify as Aim Gunner. Uh-huh. And um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Blake? Uh, yeah, I'm not dating anything that was involved in that uh, description that you said. <laughs> uh, yeah, not you. Well, how would you qualify <laughs> that? Would you consider that as heterosexual? I don't sex? know. I don't. I'm not. I wasn't given the, the the right or the the what do you call it, the authority or whatever to make these things up for these people. So mm-hmm. I don't know what I would call that. Whatever they're doing, whatever they heterosexual doing. sex. It's a man and a woman having whatever sex. Whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever they're enjoying themselves. What do you mean, whatever it is? It's whatever it is, they're enjoying sex. themselves. I'm is it heterosexual sex? Yes or no? That's the question. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't, you, you don't is. know what a sex between a man and a woman is? Yeah, it could be that, but it, it could be that, or it could be something else. I don't know. 
We got these people now. They just Girl, make these things up. Yeah. So you done? You done with that Good. One? Yeah, we got the next one. Yeah. All right, we'll pull up the next joints. What's the next joints? Yeah. Coming to America. Who saw that yeah. shit? I saw the, I saw coming to America. What too. was the vibes? What was the vibes? Talk I, about I, it. Talk about it. Talk about people it. coming to America. It. The first movie is a fucking cinematic masterpiece. Can yes. we agree on that? Yes. It's one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. Yes. yes. Okay. To be yeah. loved. Okay. Yes. I think coming to America too was a cool movie. It was cool. Like I like. I mean, I'm I, not. I go, I'm not gonna lie to you. On first watch, oh, first. I was disgusted. Wow. But I think my expectation level was way too high. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch any of the trailers purposely. Uh-huh. I avoided all that shit. I was like, I just want to watch it. Because Coming to America to me is like, I said it before, it's probably top five movies ever made. To me, yes, as a black five. man. Absolutely. Top, top five. five movies ever made. Like, I uh-huh. need that. Like, my son has to watch that. Mad Towns growing right. up. Training Places and all kinds of shit. Right. Too. But like, Eddie Murphy was a god. He still is. Yes, technically, he's still, he's still a legend. Right. Yeah. But it's, you know, well, that Dolomite movie is good. Did you see it, Bleak? Yeah, I watched it. What's your thoughts? I loved it. Feel that? From the first watch? Yeah, from, I only watched it once. Best character in the it. movie? Um, Best character. Ooh. Favorite character. Who, gotta who, be who, who killed the movie? It's got to be, wow. To be honest with you, Semi killed it. Semi killed it. Semi killed it. Who was the witch doctor, Semi? Yeah. Arsenio Hall was the witch yeah. doctor? Was yeah. he? I that really wish thought doctor, he was at that it. Wish doctor was funny as yeah. shit. Arsenio Hall definitely killed. Semi killed it. Um, Wesley Snipes killed it. Wesley Snipes, Wesley killed, Snipes killed that fucking yeah. movie. And Eddie to killed me. it too. He, General he, Izzy. Yeah. He spazzed. Snipes His army different. Yeah. Wesley Snipes killed the movie. He was the funniest person. In the yeah. He movie. saved he, that movie to me the first time. Like it was like it was only watchable because of him. The first watch. Nah. Come on. Nah. Come on. To be honest with you, first of all, we gotta applaud Eddie Murphy because he definitely knows how to make. The, First of all, when you when you watch the movie, the first ten minutes, it's a Disney movie. It's like beautifully orchestrated. So, just after seeing that cinem- that cinematography, how he did that, you absolutely absolutely know that he knows what the fuck he's doing, and he's learned a lot. That's he's interesting. That's lot. interesting. You see it like that. I mean, that's what it is. That beautiful entrance, all of that. That's just like a, a, a movie brought into life in a in a beautiful way. I don't know. I love that, and I love the first scene at the barbershop. Them niggas killed it. Yeah, the, them the, niggas, that shit was OD funny. That barbershop scene was OD funny. It did? So, I loved it. I think Coming to America was OD fire, and I don't understand what the fuck people wanted or what they expected, but whatever. I watched it, and I loved it. Yeah, he's mad. They're mad old. They're mad old. I love the 30 years. I loved how they presented it. The you 30 the years. the cameos and the reappearances. The cameos. Made it feel real. No, no, no. I would have, if, if we're better. being critical, I would have changed, I would probably would have had a different main dude. Oh, you didn't like the prince? I didn't, yeah, he, he wasn't. He Lave- Lavelle, he did, Lavelle he did, he Johnson. Lavelle Johnson. He didn't do a bad job, but it wasn't like, I mean, he, he didn't, he didn't. Steal it's the it's show, hard, bro. You didn't see the he didn't cast? steal the show. Come on. I said, look how are you going to steal the show with that cast? Look at that I mean, cast. but he had mad screen time. Who, yeah, who killed cast. the movie? You said General Izzy? Yeah. General Wesley Izzy, Sipes. that's my nigga. Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes and fucking... But the whole orchestration, or even too, when they came in with the dancing, yeah. that whole shit was fire. That whole shit was funny. See, I'm a different nigga. I might have fucking married uh, Tana Taylor, like... Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. All right, but he there. did, right? He tried. She's like, Spoiler whatever alert. you want, oh, Mike. Hello, oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, um, I love the dancing. I might have went a different way with the marriage if I was uh, in that movie. Mm. Might have went a different way. I was feeling that. Mm. Nah, that you gotta watch the movie. You gotta watch the movie. That was funny. That barbershop scene was od funny. Yeah, they they did they did uh, a couple things right. I mean, it was, it was more of a family friendly movie. Right. When you look at it like that, they did a good job. It's a callback to the old one. The old one will always be a but classic. The, it's, but the it's, first it one lives was a forever. Friendly as well. One to ten or one to five? But five. What the f- one to five. One to five stars. Wait, 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 wait. Five is easy. One to five. Wait, I wait, give wait, it a three let's, and let's, a half. Let me go back a little bit. Three and a half, you said? Three and a half? Yeah, I said three and a half. Three and a half, five. But you said it's a family friend. The first one wasn't a family friend. No, movie. that's an adult movie. That was an adult movie? There was titties you? and there was fucking, there was mad shit in that movie. We were talking raw. Talks. Eddie Murphy raw. All right, if you want to say that, but this one is just as good. I mean, nah, it's definitely nah, not just as good. Now you're wilding. Yeah. Nah, I give it a strong eight. 
I mean, out of five, what do you give it? Four? I said four. He's giving it four stars. What are you saying? Oh, you said five? I thought we were going ten. It was just five, one and five. All right, so four and a half. What about you, G? Wow. Um, fuck. He watched it twice, so he's not even giving it a three. I watched five. it more than, Look at more that, more than, than twice. I watched it like four times right now. Um, yeah. It's like people, some people have to watch it, and then you don't watch it with them. You know? yeah. you know, Dukes uh, wants to watch it, you know? You feel me? What you going to do? Dukes watch it with a. What you uh, going to do? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's grime. Go it's ahead, grime, go ahead. man. Go ahead. Express yourself. My in the real life. Out of when five, I look five. at it, when I look at it, bro, it's uh-huh. it's a four. It's a four. Oh, All right. Express yeah. yourself. Yeah. Three and All a half, right. four. He didn't four. have it. He didn't yeah. have it. Just say it. No, it's, it's fair. All right. Anything else? What else? I did watch uh, Behind Her Eyes. You finished it? I finished it. Lord God. Wow. Wowzers. Woo! You seen it yet? No. Oh my you god. You didn't see it yet? I no. super recommend that shit. Behind her eyes. OD behind her eyes. OD, right? Good looking. No doubt. Behind wow. her eyes. That's on Netflix, That's guys. A Check that out. That's a that thousand. movie will fuck you up. It's a genre bending movie. Like you yeah. don't even know what you're watching. Like Of course, oh, WandaVision. So, so, hold on. So but behind her eyes. Shit. Come on, Crump. You gotta watch that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it. You're gonna Please. binge it. It's only what like six it episodes. It's only six Netflix. episodes. Okay. Netflix. You're gonna binge it. It's only six episodes. Okay. You're gonna watch kill it. it. One night. Beautiful. Yeah, you will. You won't. You won't Satisfying stop watching. Satisfying ending. Satisfying ending. Oh, like. Satisfying ending. Yo. I'm like, oh my god. Even th- yo. I'm like yo. To be honest with you, by episode four, I hit it. Yeah. I hit you knew. It. I knew. Yeah. I think that's it. You don't listen. All right. Uh, yeah, you gotta check it out. Listen, spoiler right. alert. I'm so next. Serious. No, stop, chill. All right. All right, next, next joint. Mm. What else? WandaVision. 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 Epic. Oh, epic. epic. That was fire. Yo, listen. Great show. I cried. I did it. Great show. I cried at the end. I can see that that would have yeah. been a movie that they just chopped up. Yeah. I can see that. That was insane. It was you quality was excellent. Transition. Two part movie. Yeah, double feature. It was amazing. Loved it. Wow, I can't believe they pulled that off. Five. Five stars. Five. It's everything it's supposed to be and more. Rambo. It's satisfying. Spectrum. If you could get past the first three episodes, I know a lot of ignorant, stupid ass motherfuckers can't get past like that kind of shit for the first three episodes. Yeah. But once you get past that shit, bro, and then see how it ties in afterwards. Ooh-wee. Incredible. Good Wanda shit. Vision. The fact Wanda that Vision. Wanda. Vision. Yeah, yes. you feel me? Yeah, it's Wanda Vision. Play on f- words, blunt Listen. exchange. It's a blunt exchange. Incredible, incredible. You dig? You dig? Incredible. Um, so check that out. Anything else? Any other movies, guys? Um, Ooh, Malcolm and Marie. I haven't watched that. He. I have not watched. You that. haven't you watched watch? that? Come on, Crumb. You're yeah. slacking on you your. I was insane. No, no, no. This yeah. No, 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 no. You look shit like that. One room, one location. Conversation. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I'm watching this. You still haven't watched Top Boy? You piece of shit. Yeah. Have you should do have to do a shot. You have to do a. You should have to do a shot every episode until you finish Top Boy. It's been since the second episode. We're in episode thirty-two. That's crazy. That's two years. That's 2019. Wowzers. Wowzers. Whoa. Wowzers. That's Yo, that's crazy. it. New rule. Shot every fucking episode until that's you finish this That's crazy. Patrick Swayze. First thing in the episode. I mean, something has to be done. We on that. Summer House. You dig? Till you finish it. I bet you finish it now. And you got to watch the first one first. And it's called Summer House now. Uh, and nah, then you got to nah, watch that That's too much. That's too much. No, nah, you're out of control. He should have been watching. Come on. It's two years ago. What do you mean it's too much? Top Boy is enough. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So, we got your Netflix fixes. Talk to us. Hit us up in the comments. Let us know. Yeah, somebody had asked me a question. They said they were dating somebody. So this is actually a viewer question. Okay. I don't know how to shape it right, but I see if I can get it on the way. They asked me. They were like, yo, they're dating somebody, right? A dude or whatever, and he's fire and all that. But, like, um, like, they never, ever see anything that he does, like. Ever. Like, he does, I see he says squirrel. he does mad shit, like, and he, like, show and prove, holds it down, or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is, right? But, like, never seen him at his job, in his uniform, coming from his job, going to his job, don't know where his job is. Never seen him, like, with his family, at his family, seen any of his family, know where his family is. 
But he'll say like, oh, I'm with my mom, or I'm with this, or I'm like going out at work, I'm at, like I'm at a meeting. Like, and the question probably is, how far do you go before you ask, like, I want to see this shit, or I want to do this shit, or like, let me know, like, I want to meet somebody. How far in a relationship or a situation do you go, or do you ever go there like, hey, nothing fucked up, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. I just believe you because that's what it is. It all depends on the kind of job. If it's like a career job where they like sometimes bring the work home, then, I mean, we're talking about like for from a female's point of view? From a male's point of view first, we can, you know, okay. in the future we could talk from a female's point of view when we have a female. Yeah. But um, I'm saying like, so let me fuck it up. Let me, let, me, let me switch it up for you. So you've been fucking with her for like about a year now. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, you never actually seen her go to work or met any of her family or friends. But, you know, like, so she'd be like, oh, I'm busy. Oh, baby, I'm with my mom, whatever. You know, we're in town or whatever. But, I, but you've never seen it. Right? Uh, can you deal with that? Would you say something? How long would you go with, before saying something? How do you even feel about that kind of situation? <clears throat> um, I don't know. Because I, there, there's been times where things like that play in your favor. When you don't get too involved, you feel me? So, I don't know. That might be, that might be something good for some. But, yeah, you know, if you're more of a traditional person, then maybe I don't think so. So, a year, I'm dating her, and I and I already got these feelings. Of, yeah, I'm asking. I'm asking. Well, yeah, that's what you Before said. Before a year, right? after a year, after a year. You be like, you want to see? Ten months now, nah, it's too early. You would ask to see shit. Maybe a year is even too early. Mm. But would, would you? you know, so you like you? You would need to ask to see it. I don't need to ask to see. But you said it, like after a year, like so. What? So what do you mean by that? You know. But if you. So what happens after the year? So after a year, you don't want to pick her up from work. No, no. She's like, no, I'm good. Like, don't worry. I don't worry. I never need help getting from work. I'll just be home. So then I'm gonna think what um, the cameraman said. <laughs> what do you say? Sucking dick. <laughs> I mean, because obviously I can't pick you up from work. I can't meet you nobody. So it's not that you doing? can't. Like, what do you mean uh, you man. can't? Why are you thinking about it? Like you can't. Because like you, you just, just we don't like why. So it's how just many me times and you. do I have to ask her that I'm gonna pick you up from work? And she are you? Th- uh, the question you probably then really is: Are you for that? Second? Do you what need that? Do? What does she do? So the question: What does she do for work? The question probably is: Do you need that? What does she do for work? She says she's a consultant. So does she bring work home? Come on. No, man. nothing. Does she bring a briefcase home? Does she bring a brief briefcase home? Sometimes she wears she she brings a briefcase if she needs to. She needs paperwork or something. Uh, she's yeah. a consultant. She's a very intelligent she's a consultant. woman. Do you see her do you ever see her on does her work call at does work ever call while she's at the house? I mean she gets calls, yeah. What are you trying to figure out? Like, to, she doesn't do anything disrespectful. She's your short. What, what do you mean? Why do you think? Of, why are you? No, going because to you're asking me about calls and shit like that. I'm just saying. I'm nah, just saying. So, yeah, you sometimes, mean, sometimes, sometimes you hear call, her on the phone never, at work. You've never heard like anything. Like, I'm just saying, this work you've calls around. Heard, like, hear her like, talking yeah, about work. Oh, yeah, the work will call right, and it'd be like, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. you already know. Like, all right, goodbye. So you don't even know. Like, oh, so we're cooking out too. Like, you can't even you can't even no. tell it was no, work. no, oh, that no, what no, it was no. like that. Yeah, yeah I feel that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so even that doesn't help you. Like, if work calls, but you don't believe it, because I mean, not even that you don't believe it, but you can't confirm it for sure. It's basically you can't confirm it for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, if that's my girl, You've never seen it. Am I? But am she's I paying her part I'm, of the bills or whatever you do, groceries or yeah, whatever? In, she my, does. in my opinion, if we've been together for a little bit. And it's coming up on like a Christmas party, and you tell me your job doesn't have a holiday party. I'm gonna think it's. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think some red flags then. Uh, yeah, there's red flags, man. After a year, I feel like they're Muslim. You know. Oh wow, this is getting. My job is not Christian. Let me put it another way. Oh. They're, not, they're not. They're not Christian. When? They don't do holiday parties. Yeah, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so the question really is basically, do you need that <coughs> to move forward with a shorty? Do you need to see her family? Yes. Do you need to do know you need to see, her, see family? her job? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 What if she has no family? Okay. I mean, now you just, you know, you I'm just asking you a, every yeah. time. I'm asking you a di- I'm asking yeah. you a different question. He can't just, he can't, yeah, yeah. I can't just ask you a different question because I want to see how far you would go. Pause. I mean, 
if I see what matters to you, I'm just trying to see. I'm why don't you ask have phase one have. question of phase one? I asked the phase one. You answered it. I asked a different question. What and then you, you said, like, whoa, a different take, question. What did you ask? What I mean, the what fuck? How could you ask more than one question? Can you date her without mm-hmm. seeing anything? Can, can I date, date a woman without that? seeing anything? Yes, yeah. I can date a woman without forever? seeing anything. No, not forever. How long? See, so why can't you have answered any of the This is the question I've been asking I said, y'all. Like, y'all I, haven't answered it. He's, he's You've said, never even answered He said a year. You, know, you said you can go a year without asking her anything. Yeah. And you said? I said, uh, like, about a year. I, I said, uh, like, yeah, about a year, because I'm assuming. This is the first like, time you're saying party. it at a time. I said, it's, I'm assuming. By Christmas. Christmas party. Yeah. So what if you start dating her in November? I mean, if we're dating, then and you once we can get past Christmas that Christmas party. flag, then why can't we go more than a year and never have another flag? I'm saying if you don't have another, if, if I don't, you don't take me to your Christmas party, then I'm gonna think it's a red flag. Right away, one month yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. You sound insane. No, Vibes. No, no, Serial like, Killy. No. Oh man. You sound like. But uh, you have to understand that right away, you know this person's hiding something. So if you want to deal with them, why are they hiding something? Then they just uh, they like to do their work and keep it away. So how long? Work how long pleasure, can you date her? Business and pleasure how different. Long how long? G. How long can you date her? Love to do that. So as soon as they start. How about you now, G? It depends on what if I'm dating what like you know what intent up? I'm dating for. If I'm dating for marriage, I would kind of want a, the, the stability. And the like, the peace of mind of knowing, like all your, you know, because you know I'm gonna tell you my shits. So I want to know your shits. So you feel me? So how long are you dating her before you have to see? Come on, man, come back. The so job. If, come back to us, bro. Get, so get back to us. I'm in the mindset of what marriage, or I'm just having fun. Because if I'm having fun, I can date her for what? How long? You know, and the. Two so years? I wouldn't even care. One year? I wouldn't care. Yeah, so I would never dating her for marriage. If I'm dating her for marriage, then I would want to know within like six months. Like, okay, I need to know what's six going on. Six months? Wow. Within six months. I would, no, because if it's serious now, like, I need to know how serious are these funds? Can we like get six out of here? Months? Can we do some shit and you're still good? Will you get fired if we do this? Like, you know what I mean? How does it work? Six months. <laughs> Tell me at least how it works. Yeah. Like, some shit. I think it's a red flag if if you're you're the person you're talking to. Can't dating. tell you how it works. It's not telling you about their job. <laughs> I think that's weird. <laughs> Off top, women like talking. <laughs> yeah, what if she's a spy? See, and, never, and then now it's never, national. Now it's never, a national security. She has risk. a front. You see what you did? She has a front. Nah, those so people she's have front. You the front. Yeah, those people oh, have she's legit a baker. Fronts. Yeah. She's, she's a spy. A she has she's to work on her stories. So she's, she's a in a. What is she gonna say? <laughs> She's just gonna not talk to me. She's my wife, a yeah. girl, whatever, whatever it is. No, no, spies have have legit jobs. Yeah, they do, right? How many spies you know? They wouldn't be good if you knew. I don't know any spies. No like spies that. have ever revealed like the themselves think, to me. That was good. So you guys would need to know pretty early on. Yeah. All right, that's good. Um, you too. Actually, you earlier than both of us, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. You said six months. You're kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's <laughs> Serial killer. Yeah, you're kind of the one that was Vibe serial killer. Uh, Having to know yeah. how the money works after six months, yeah, I need yeah. to know. If I'm dating for marriage, yeah, I'm, like, I'm trying, if, I'm, if I want to marry you, I'm trying to get that. Let's get it. You know what I mean? Let's get it done. All right. Let's get out of here. We're wasting time. Mm-hmm. We could have been married already. We'd have had days in. So hypothetically, yeah. how often would you date for marriage versus dating for fun? It depends on my age uh-huh. and, like, you know, the type of woman Let's in front say of me. you were early 30s man. Early 30s man? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's still dating to a date. Uh, I think with the mind that I have, I still have my mind or I have an early 30s mind? I mean, you're, 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 a, you're a man in My me with my brain no, transported no, no, back no, no, into you're, an early you're... 30s fair frame. So I'm, I'm just 30 again, right? Huh? Yeah. I'm you're, 30 all over again. Nice. You're a 32 year old man. Feeling good. Feeling okay, good. A 32 year old man. You're a 32 year old man. What's your approach to the dating game? Just date. What are you looking for? Women. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch a vibe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> mm. Trying to lay for down. the listeners. Trying no, to lay like, down. Uh, for the, oh, for the listeners. Uh, trying to lay down. I'm just... For the, for, for the listeners. <laughs> well, first, uh, I think um, I'm just open. Yeah, talk to the listeners. I'm talking to the listeners. I, I'm just open 
to having a good time. And while I'm having a good time, I'm learning more about myself, mm -hmm. seeing what I like, what I enjoy, and um, and just you know living in living in my uh, your truth. You know, your truth. <laughs> I wouldn't say <laughs> I wouldn't say my truth. I don't like that phrasing. Why not? But what? you know, I'm just oh you're my. not living your life. I'm doing do my thing. See, the, the truth means like it feels like when you have to say it and not like it's like the super straight shit sometimes. It's like yo, the truth. The truth is. The truth. Like, yeah, maybe it's a lie that you're saying your truth. Okay. I don't know. Why do you have to say that? Yeah, you, you can't live your truth in peace. Like, did you cheat on me? No, I didn't. Like, oh man, what? I didn't cheat. Like, what? What does that mean? Why did you say cheat <laughs> like that? Mean? Why did you say cheat what like does that? that mean? I think you cheated. You dig? Yo, speaking of WandaVision, you seen um, Uzi's new uh, new jewelry? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You got the Vision. You got the, like, what, the Mind Stone? 24 what, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a very, very nice... Uh, nice diamond, nice cut. Nice diamond. Dumbass shit. Pink diamond. Oh. Wow. What? You don't, you don't fuck with it? You don't like it? I'm not saying I don't fuck you with tight? it. I just think you it's tight? Just dumb. I just think it's... Yo, Bleak, you're a hater, Bleak. I know. I feel, I feel like that's, that's what happens now. As soon as you disagree or you you yeah. don't see something, you're a hater. But, yeah, that was stupid. But whatever. I'm not him. I don't have that kind of money to do stupid shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You know Yo, I'm man. If how a man I don't choose, got that collateral. How a man chooses to spend his money, I'm that's never going to exactly. you know, talk about how he spent his money. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't count another man's money. You feel me? No, I'm not counting man's his money. I'm just saying. You, I don't have you already I don't have know blood exchange. To, to make I probably would have spent the twenty million a little differently, just yeah. a little slightly differently. But hey, kudos to that man. He makes good music. Whatever he needs to inspire himself to make right. the music. Right. So guys, another amazing episode in the books. Yeah, yeah. Made job. it for last yeah, week, uh, um, but still do better next week. What? There's something yeah, else? Yeah, right. No, no, no. Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping it blunt with us. Don't forget yes, to like, sir. comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh. Help us grow the channel. Yes, Guys, sir. anything Woo. else before next episode? Yo, man, be safe out there, yo. Enjoy your weekend, I mean. Get it popping. See y'all next week. That's all I got. We gonna keep Facts. it super straight? Keep super. it super straight. How super. about you, Bleak? Super straight. <laughs> keep it super straight. Are, yeah. are you unless you're not, unless you're not, don't keep it super you, straight. Yeah, if you're not super are straight, you a, are you a, like, are you just a common heterosexual or? I'm just me. Ah. All right, guys. Next week. Holla, holla, holla. Shit, shit. shit.